Hello, and welcome to Sierra View Medical Center. My name is Donna Hefner, and I am the President and CEO. With a rich history of over 65 years serving our local community, we are excited to be a part of your journey. We deliver more than a thousand babies each year, providing evidence-based care to support the mother-baby experience. And we are proud of our baby-friendly designated hospital that supports the preferred infant feeding. Your birth preferences, safety, and needs are our top priority. To enhance your experience, our dedicated nursing staff will personally give you a virtual inside view of our Maternal Child Health Department. Hi, I'm Elisa, Maternal Child Health Nurse Clinical Educator. We're excited to show you around our units, Labor and Delivery, Mother Baby, NICU, and the Breastfeeding Resource Center. When you arrive, use our circle driveway at the main entrance of our hospital. If you need to park, you may park in any designated area in front of the hospital or in the east parking lot across the street. Coming back into the hospital, you will check in at the front reception desk and you will go to your right and head towards the east set of elevators. The Maternal Child Health Department is on the fourth floor. Make sure to press the four button, not the four R. This will bring you to the fourth floor lobby. As you get off the elevator, make your way through the lobby and you'll be greeted by a security guard. Our security guard is there for the safety and security of our patients, staff, family, and our babies. The security guard will open the doors and direct you to the appropriate location. Upon entry to the unit, you will check in at the nurse's station and be escorted to the appropriate area. Our antepartum room is used for testing that is ordered by your provider to test for mother and baby's well-being. Tests that are done in this room are non-stress tests, which are NSTs, ultrasounds, biophysical profiles, which are also referred to as BPPs. Hi, my name is Donna. I'm a registered nurse in labor and delivery. I'm here to briefly explain to you what to expect during your triage visits. We have a two bedroom layout where we will evaluate, assess, diagnose your concerns. We will place monitors on your abdomen and check your vitals, report these findings to the doctor and further determine your disposition. Reasons you will visit triage is either your doctor will send you from the office for further evaluation, your water breaking, contractions, bleeding, baby moving less, or any further concerns regarding your pregnancy. Hi, my name is Mary Ann. I am a registered nurse in the labor and delivery department. I will be sharing some information on what to expect during this stage of your stay with us. This is our laboring room where admission takes place, which consists of starting your IV, gathering some history, obtaining consents, and connecting you to our baby and laboring monitoring system. This room is also where we prep you for your delivery, whether it be a vaginal or a cesarean section. The room is set up and equipped for the entire laboring process, including a full restroom with a shower and a sleeping chair for your support person. Safety is our main priority. Our monitoring system is visually available at the nurse's station, allowing continuous assessment of your vital signs and your baby's heart rate. Rest assured, there is always a nurse viewing your labor activity. We keep a close eye on your labor progression to make sure your pain management needs are being met. Our rooms are also equipped with everything necessary for a vaginal delivery and receiving of your baby. This room is also where your immediate recovery will take place, allowing for skin-to-skin -skin bonding with your baby. If, for an unforeseen circumstance, a cesarean section is warranted, our OR suite is located just down the hall here on the fourth floor. After recovery, you will be transferred to our mother-baby unit to be taken care of by our postpartum team. Hi. My name is Regina, and I'm a registered nurse in the mother-baby unit. I will be reviewing some information on what you and your baby should expect during your time with us. Welcome to our mother-baby unit, also referred to as postpartum. You and your baby will spend the next 24 to 48 hours with us here. This room is a bit smaller than the labor side, but it is still single patient use and has everything necessary for you to bond with your baby and begin preparing for your growing family. We want to make sure you and baby are transitioning appropriately. Our focus during this period is resting, healing, facilitating the mother-baby bond, and preparing for discharge. 
The communication board is updated with key information about your plan of care to assure all your needs, including pain management, are met before going home. Our team will be rounding frequently to assure the safety of you and your newborn. Prior to going home, you will be provided with detailed discharge education for you and your baby, including signs and symptoms of when to seek medical care. We are here to deliver compassionate, quality, focused care for you and your family. Hi, my name is Alexa and I'm a registered nurse in the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. I will be sharing some information on what to expect if your baby requires this type of specialized care. The Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, or the NICU, is located on the fourth floor between labor and delivery and postpartum. We are a four bed level two NICU, which means that we can care for babies born as early as 34 weeks. We also provide care for babies who may need respiratory support, antibiotics, or just extra assistance transitioning after birth. The NICU welcomes parents to visit their babies at all hours, but we do require privacy during change of shift, which is from 6 to 8 a.m. and 6 to 8 p.m. Hi, my name is Veronica. I'm an international board certified lactation consultant in the maternal child health department. I will be discussing some information regarding both inpatient and outpatient breastfeeding services and resources. We have 24-7 support from our lactation consultant and nursing staff. All our staff has been trained on helping you breastfeed your newborn. Our breastfeeding classes are offered once a month in Spanish and in English. We review subjects like correct latch, breastfeeding positions, and how to tell that your baby's getting enough milk. We have free outpatient support services where you can call after your discharge if you need extra help with breastfeeding. We appreciate you taking some time to richly tour our unit. We look forward to being part of your mother baby healthcare team. If any complications or concerns occur after your discharge, please be sure to return to the emergency department. For additional information and educational resources, please visit the Sierra View Medical Center webpage by scanning the QR code or by accessing the following link. And on behalf of Sierra View Medical Center team, we would like to thank you. 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 Thank you.